All right, guys. So we're gonna make some um, chuko food today. All right. So here's what we're gonna use. So we'll get a ricotta. All right. So we do it about this much. All right. We're good at that. No. What we're doing here is just seasoning it up. Alright. About that amount of black pepper. Alright. Because we're going to leave this for about, I'd say about an hour just to let the seasoning get in there. Alright. So, well, you guys know the trend lately is Himalayan salt. Alright. So, everybody thinks it's healthy, so we're going to be using that. About that, just move it there, okay. About that, of it. And a uh, little bit of this. This is cumin, ground cumin. Uh, a lot of us know it as jira. So we're gonna use that in here, about this much, okay? Now you guys, it all depends on your taste. If you don't like that, you don't have to add it. All right, so. That's it. All right, so now we're gonna stir this up, get the seasoning in there. All right, let's get that in. All right, let's get it on lovey dovey. All right, guys, I'm back. So here's what we're gonna, what we're gonna use. We're gonna use this ginger paste, garlic paste, the celery. And I'm sure you guys know what this is. This is what? Cilantro. Right. Onions and green peppers. And also, see how this looks after an hour? All right. And then, we're going to use a little bit of this. We're going to cook that up. What else? Some turmeric. Okay and a little more black pepper okay all right so all right so we got our oil heating up and then the cumin the ground cumin we're going to use about i'd say for this amount of meat let's say we're going to use about three tablespoons we're going to use about a half a tablespoon of this we don't want it too yellow, okay? And some black pepper, of course. And of course, we're gonna add the salt if needed, all right? And we're gonna add right there, okay? All right, guys. So now we're gonna add this beautiful meat right here. Let's dump it in here, okay? Look at that. 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 Colors coming in. All right. All right. All right, guys. All right. And after a little while, we're going to come back. After I add some water in this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to keep on stirring it, mix it up, and fry it up. Get it that nice brown color. Right. 
and we're going to chew it down. And I believe for this amount of meat, I think this is about maybe three pounds altogether. You got to count the bones, okay? The weight of the bones. So I'd say about three pounds altogether here, okay? No, here we go. So, all right. Okay, guys, look at that. Let's put this there. Okay, let's put this one down here to cook. Right. You want to marry them along with this. That we just cooked, right? Okay, look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ginger paste, right? So we're going to add one, two tablespoons of that, okay? Then, and a garlic paste, okay? One, Tablespoons of garlic paste, all right, guys? And then, you stir it up. Get it all mixed up in it. Okay. Okay. 
see how that's about the coloring of it. Okay. So we're going to leave this um, for about another hour. Now this is cow foot. This is not the fastest way of cooking. Right. This is very slow way because we're not using the pressure cooker or the slow cooker that we leave overnight or like an eight hour or six hours, all right? Um, so, and today's a Saturday, so it's, it's my day off, you know. So let's cook this up. And you know, it's Saturday and I got time to do this, let you guys see. So again, what we're going to do with that, we're going to cover it up, leave it there for about an hour, let it cook. Alright guys, I know it's not quite an hour yet, but here's how we're looking, okay, see, that? see this goodness, you guys showing down. Again, we're not making cow foot soup, we're just making a stew cow foot. Look at that. Don't, want, don't mind the oil that's going to develop here. because, And for me, this is a timely process because what I do, I take it out, take the gravy out, uh, put it in a bowl, put it in my freezer uh, for about 45 minutes and scoop the oil right off the top. And at the bottom, you got gravy. All that goodness, and you put the meat right back in to cook for another maybe half hour or so. Well, of course, that's going to be when this meat is soft. All right? See how it's already falling off the bone? All right? So, again, this is not the easy process. This is not going to be cooking fast like while, when you're using a, a pressure cooker. This is the slow process, all right? Alright, so I'll just cover this back and come back in a little bit and check on it. Alright guys, I think it's been about two hours now, so let's go here. Let's see. So that's about two hours. Okay, see how thick that gravy is? Oh yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna keep checking up on it okay guys so we're coming to the end here um, so we're gonna add a little bit more salt the celery and the cilantro okay and this is how we're looking right now okay okay I don't know if you guys can see that how tender that looks okay. and that's about three hours of cooking yeah, about three hours, okay? Okay, let's cover that thing. And we're gonna have Alright guys, so we're gonna make a little salad. Alright, so got some tomatoes, cucumber, this pepper, and some spinach. Alright? So that's what we're gonna make our salad with today. Alright. Alright, so no reason food is complete without having planted.